How'd you do it on the girl? <laughs> We'll actually do this as a training video. Yeah, this is a training video. Start on the chest. Good everybody. Welcome to Masterclass. Welcome to Masterclass. We're going to do some chest work with our uh, number one tit. <laughs> <laughs> tit man. <laughs> tits, tits again. Tits, tits, tits again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, in all seriousness though, we're, we're doing some training on a Friday and we're going to um, do some it's chest techniques, but we thought we'd do a video for you guys as well. Probably directed at you, Matt. But I like to start the chest work off with pizzy form, starting Sorry. at this sternoclavicular joint, and then just like tracing the collarbone all the way out to the shoulder. So just start with your arm down there. I think with this one, it's really important to get under the collarbone because I reckon there's a lot of stuff that gets stuck right under the collarbone there. So I really like to clear out <clears throat> that that point. Is that okay so far, Matty? Yeah, it feels like it's clearing stuff in my arm. Good. See how his arm is placed there too? So you can kind of start with their arm palm down, but I feel like when you start to take it out, see how it's quite in, internal rotation there? <laughs> so I, I feel like to really catch, when you can't start coming out, to really catch like the bicep tendon, anterior deltoid, I would kind of start to open it up a little bit, mm. like so. But yeah, just making sure that busy form is like right up under that collarbone, man. They should be able to feel, see me there, kind of just gouging against it. And he's obviously struggling a little bit there, so I'll just get him to do some deep breaths, man. And then let it all go. Yeah, good. Mm. Just turn that palm up, man. That's it. Nice. Let that arm go, brother. Deep deep breath. Okay. Another thing too, look how he's breathing. He's really belly breathing. That's something that I want to change. Yeah, that's better. So you expand the ribs, man. And that, that way, sometimes when I'm treating the shoulder and I'm trying to work on their breathing mechanics, I'll actually say, breathe into your shoulder. Mm. And just, it sounds weird, but they will make the breathing better. Like you'll actually think about like transporting the air as it comes in up into the shoulder joint and that's what we want we want i want to feel the shoulder expanding as as he's breathing so you're coming out to this point you're still trying to stay on the collarbone you can see the kind of line i've been taking through there but now we're starting to hit that anterior delt and kind of then you start to hit like coracobrachialis bicep tendon and it can get start to get pretty nasty, and this is where you've got to be pretty tactful because this is where like flicks can happen. So I can feel something coming up, and I don't think it's such a bad thing to flick over it. It's just the manner in which you do it. Because sometimes I think a flick, if done correctly, can kind of be a good thing to kind of shake things up a little bit. But if it's really forced and like you can just, it's painful. That might not be so good. But a nice tactful flick can be okay. It's coming. I know. <laughs> So yeah, I've got to be just super tactful. Sometimes as well, I won't just keep going up towards Dorf's direction there. I might actually start to go down with the line of the anterior delt and the bicep tendon too, yeah. just so you can yeah, not be so it. violent. See how I'm starting to yeah. take my pressure down? So Parallel. steal the heel of my palm, but yeah, now we're just kind of, it's just years of experience of knowing where that tendon is <laughs> and knowing not to just go bang straight over it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so that's right on like a really oh, nasty bit. It, it, like most people have this bit here. I feel like it's right on a bit of a gooby there, Matty. It's like you're about a flick. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. The pace I'm going, if it does flick, it's not going to be too bad, man. And besides, I think I'm angling my pressure down the, down the groove now, man. All right, so I'm just going to park there. Once he, you see the fingers tapping, you see like his breath shortening, he's struggling with it. So you park, and I'll tell him, breathe up into the shoulder again, man. Good, you see the chest rising, that's good. And then let it all go, man. Lovely, and then when he lets it go, I'll just keep moving along. Nice, man, really, really good. <coughs> Good. Keep breathing, man. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. 
Uh, it's okay now, yeah? Yeah, it's past the hump. Cool. <laughs> yep. And relax that there. So I reckon as well, already, if you come look from this way, Ninja, you should be able to see, and you might, I'll even say to Matt, do you feel as if like that shoulder is like a bit further back now and a bit like, you know, sitting in a nicer position than the other side? It feels lighter. Definitely yeah. feel that. No, it's good. So that was my first stroke. You could do four strokes of that, like going through there if you feel like it needs it. If this was an hour treatment, I reckon I'd do three. But for you guys, I'll just keep moving on. What I might do next is even get a little bit more like, sharper with it. So actually use the thumb. Oh, yeah. So I land right on that sternoclavicular joint there. Oh. Right on that point. And this is a joint that can sometimes need mobilizing itself. And this is one that they might feel shooting straight through to the back. So it's like, you know, people that get that kind of, oh, they get that pain around like that second rib, first rib up behind the back. It can sometimes be from this area here. Shine a knife down my body, chest. Good, man. Okay, so once again, get you to breathe through there, man. And let it all go. See how much he's struggling there? He doesn't really want me to move there. Just let the neck relax down. So there we go. There we go. So I can just tell this is a bit that I'd probably stick on with Matt for quite a while. And when you're tracing this, always make sure you're really pushing up into the collarbone. Up there. <laughs> Good man. And what you can do even is, even if you just want to park there, you can just start doing some mobilizations with the the arm too. So I'll start some tracing now. I might support his arm there so it's not just hanging and we're just going to work our way right through under that collarbone. Just going at the pace that I feel like he can take. Like forearms aching a bit. Yeah so it's going to the forearms so you can see how any kind of <clears throat> neural or pa uh, neural pain in the arm or kind of any tension in the forearm could actually be because of this Cold bone area. It's mm. good, man. Good, man. You're doing well. So I can feel like there's a bit of a hard bit there that I want to park on. And I'm just going to grab his arm. Let that elbow bend for me, man, if you can. That's it. I might just do some gentle modes through there. I can tell when I take his arm back into external rotation, I feel that muscular bit just sticking back at me. <laughs> do you still feel anything in the arm there, man, or is it just anywhere I'm pushing? Now the uh, uh, brachialis. Yep. There we go. And also tricep. That's good, man. Really good. So we're coming up towards that coracobrachialis, pec minor. <coughs> that's good, man. So I'm just going to do that like 10 more times because I feel like that's getting looser and looser every time I open it up. And what you can do with them, so you can do a few passive ones and then you can get them doing active. So Matt, as I pin there, can you take it out yourself? And then that way they can like do it at the pace they feel like they need to or take it in the direction they feel like they need to as well. Good man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> So you can already start to see just from my pressure that I've been pushing, see how much like more flattened out that right pec is now. So for someone that's quite rounded, Matt does a lot of chest training, so and he's been doing a lot lately. So I don't do any chest training. chest training. This isn't just genetic, this is uh trying to push up today, isn't it, Matt? That's just recent. <clears throat> so once again, I'm changing the direction there because I feel like it came to a roadblock. And I'm just going to take it down a groove right now. So you're always just feeling for grooves you can enter. 
I don't have any girls for you, Trevor. No. That's <laughs> his picture. Right there, that's another ripper. <clears throat> So I'm just going to push straight down oh. on top of that there. It's a good thing about the, these kind of moves is you're actually pushing on the head of the humerus as well. So if someone's got quite got, got a rounded shoulders where the actual head of the humerus is slipped forward in the in the joint, that pressure right on that head. You can even like pulse it and push it back and like force it kind of backwards in the direction you want it to go. Oh, 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 oh crikey. There. Okay. Alright man, let's have a look at you. When you come back from here, Ninja, you'll be able to see that everything's just a bit more flattened out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next one I'll show you is um, an elbow into like pec minor. So do you guys do much elbows into the pec? Yeah, it's pretty much all I do. All, all you do? Yeah. yeah. Oh so Coco brachialis is about there, and obviously we know pec minor kind of strands down like that. I'll always try and land my elbow in there, yeah. and I'll start exploring from there. So you can either work back up into the sternum there, or you can start to come out, but I'll just show you there now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nice and easy, man. This one's one that I'm always communicating with them. Even if we're talking about something deep, I'll always be checking in with how they're feeling. Just because the brachial plexus and where the nerves come out through that area, you always want to make sure that it's a productive pain and not too traumatic. It's okay. It's okay so far, man. You get down the spots, but obviously the thumb was more in there. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, there's something. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So then I'll ask Maddie, what direction, man, do you feel like you want me to go in there? Um, towards, like, I guess the fucking shoulder. <laughs> shoulder bone. <laughs> towards the shoulder bone. Ring up Das, ask where it is. <laughs> shoulder bone? It's for the viewers. So you can't rush this stuff, just let the tissues melt. And then just make sure you keep reiterating that breathe up into that pressure, man. And then let it go. Good, man. Oh. <laughs> Try my best not to moan like you. Why are you holding it in? Because oh, they're recording it. <laughs> That's no reason to hold it in. Good man. Move out, Maddie. <laughs> what are you holding on to? <laughs> are you in financial hardship? <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> so Maddie, keep directing me. What the s mm. no. Oh yeah. <laughs> so once I hit the point where I feel like I'm on the pick minor, I'll take it down towards like because it's second to the fifth rib I think it attaches. So you, you always want to go down a little bit to make sure you're catching all the fibres. There's so much fibers going on. There's every, <laughs> so much tissue. There is a lot of dense tissue. Uh, in there. Might need to cover it more. It's pretty. Oh, there's so much I want to do this. Oh, I feel like I can cry. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, just explore with confidence. You're hitting peak major, obviously, and peak minor, but you just you're just feeling for the tense bits, the hard bits. Just clean them out. <laughs> clean them through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
So I'll start again on that and I want to work my way back into that up there. So once again, you land at the same point and I'll work back into the sternum. Once again, you make sure you got contact with the collarbone at some point, okay? So just checking in with Maddie too. Feels like the direction's pretty good there, Matt. Yeah, no, it's grouse. The yeah, shoulders have been really tight lately, so I feel like it's getting into it. Is that just what you needed? Yeah, I'm getting like a bunch of referral on the back of my shoulder. Mm. Just big deep breath up into the shoulder there, man. No, not the abdomen, up into the ribcage. And let it all go. Good, man. A bit of a roadblock there. I just, I want to go all the way to the sternum. <laughs> Doing good, man. <laughs> Keep breathing, man. Keep going. It's hard when you're pressing on you. I know, I know. Keep going through it. And let it all go. Everything. Let it out. All of it, 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 all of it. All of it. There it is. That's the one we wanted. And again, man. Come on. Big deep breath. And all of it out. Dump it. All of it. More. Good, man. Just keep edging my way right to that sternum. Awesome, man. Getting close. Let's go one more deep breath. Good, man, and then dump it out. There we go. <laughs> and then slowly sinking out from that. <clears throat> All right. Um, another one I don't know if you guys know is working underneath the pec major to get into the pec minor. Oh, baby. All right. So sinking in there. And that's going to have quite a lot of yeah. stuff bunched in here. But yeah, you kind of got it. You got to push into the midline as much as you can, and then almost angle down into the ribs that's where the pec minor attaches. So, Maddie, do you feel like you need me to push inwards more there? Oh, whatever you're doing, it's good. Just bend that elbow a little bit more, Matt. Just let that drop down at the table. That's it. Do you feel like going down the arm a little bit, Matt? Yep. So, I always ask for referral down the arm, because when you're on pec minor, you're generally going to get some referral into the arm, so you can kind of gauge if you're on the right spot or not. <coughs> What will be the line down the arm? Uh, I think tricep a lot. I get a lot of people that get tricep referral down the arm. Where, where is that going, Matty? Uh, side of the elbow, on the outside. Outside, yeah. Okay. I think just more the outside of the elbow, like the tennis elbow. Area. So it's just another thing too, like when people have tennis elbow, golfer's elbow. I know for golfer's elbow, the inside, like ninja will always kind of treat armpit there because that's the line. So. Yes. I'm just gonna do some exploring in here. There, you got stuff, or maybe when I angle it up a little bit more into there, what have you got? Um, yeah, both. Woo, yep, let's go into the shoulder. Let the shoulder drop now, let the elbow drop. Good, let it go. That's it. So yeah, you can play around in there too. Oh. And even sometimes, especially someone like Matt who's got massive like pec majors, sometimes you can actually just go in and like scrub them and, and, and pincer them like that. How would you do it on a girl? <laughs> no, you, you, no, you, you can. can. You can definitely do that. Aren't you? you still can. And what I like to do with this one is I'll get Matt to actually take it out. So you just take it out into external rotation like that, man. And I'm just going to pincer it and then bring it back. Like that. That's it, man. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. And then backwards again, man. Sometimes just grabbing it and jostling it because the tissue can be so dense and tight. Like just, just holding it and grabbing it and pinching it can just get some blood flow in there and just get it out of that really compacted cycle that it's in. 
Can you go a bit quicker with that movement, Matty? Yeah, that's it. That's better. Good. It's going easy though. That's it, man. Cool, Matty. Good. I guess um, we'll do a bit of anterior deltoid too. So I love, there's like a few grooves. So you get, it's like almost like gutters. And so when you're treating the anterior deltoid and these bicep tendons, you kind of start at the top here, you find a little gutter. And I like to support their hand like this. It makes them feel like they can kind of let go of everything. And when you find a gutter, you just pin it and then you're just taking it down. And it's just like, just think of the alleyway. It's oh, just shit. cleaning. And that way too, I like this because you can kind of support their arm and you can do little movements like this. Yeah. Oh. And it's just like opening that gutter. <laughs> and someone like Matt, he does a lot of push-ups, a lot of body weight training. This point right on the tip of the shoulder is gold mine. Good, Matty. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> Let it out, boy. Just taking it down that anterior deltoid. So, yeah, there's a few gutters there as well. But yeah, that's the that's the gist of it. You can, you can do. I I know we've showed you showed you a lot of this, but you know how when in with the elbow a bit sharper before, you can actually go a bit broader if you want to get more pec major. Yeah. And you pin that skin, and then you can just take that out yourself. Just really putting a lot of heavy pressure on and gliding it down, and then you just pick that shoulder up and rotate it out. Be a good way of getting rid of all that gunk in there. And then we've shown you before some of these strokes too. So Ninja's the master of this now. I'll get you to actually keep that out there, right. man. And you pick up, pick it up at the sternum, and then you just oh. rake it down. So, and this is a really important one to use with the breathing. So breathe up into the rib cage, man, and then let it all go there. Parallel to the fibers there. Yeah, exactly. And again, man. Good. Because everyone can get hell bent on working the shoulder up here, but sometimes these sternal attachments can get really angry too. Yeah. Uh, they're not that angry. They're not too right. bad. Yeah. I'm happy. So, yeah. A bit of a demonstration on how to do the chest. But yeah, sweet. <laughs> anyway, wrap it up. What do you reckon? Not bad. Have a crack. How you feeling, Matty? Uh, okay, this one's like, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> this one's like, yeah. Oh. Pretty floppy. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, a good, good difference, you can tell. So you get immediate relief, which is nice as well. So yeah, you can create a pretty quick change. And uh, I got moving on, I mean, someone like Matt, I'd always be testing this uh, bicep area down here too because that can get super tight and pulled down on the shoulder mm -hmm. especially um, I if I was getting referral from the fore uh, elbow yeah well. exactly you'd be chest checking brachial radialis too maybe yeah. doing some treatment through there and anytime you're doing any shoulder or arm stuff I'd probably do a suboccipital run as well <laughs> yeah. that was good I'll see you downstairs mate <laughs> awesome thanks Matty Done. Fixed. <laughs> <laughs> He's ninja steps on it. Mm. Mm. One of the quiz answers. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Cool. Um, do you guys want to practice that, or should we do legs as well? I know you wanted to do some leg stuff, Carl. But yeah. Can you do it? Can I do it. I do it individually, like one at a time. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Smack the subscribe, like, kick it, kick it, kick, kick that like button, and, and try and comment something that's not, not sexual. Not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge, right? It's really hard for them. <laughs> <laughs>